Hey what's up guys, this is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and I was playing once more with Cinema 4D's 2024 beautiful amazing particle engine. It's just the first iteration but I already love it. You can create so beautiful effects with it and I guess you are curious about one question. Yes, Insidium's X Particles and Nexus is just a step further. I mean they are 10 years of development time ahead but here is the point. These native Cinema 4D particles are already super capable capable, fast and I just love it. Okay, so I think for today we want to create something like this liquid tornado effect with milk, but of course you can also do it with liquid metal like gold or beer or water, whatever you prefer. And although there is not a true liquid solver supplied in the particles engine just yet, there is a clever workaround which I want to show you here to get a beautiful cohesion look in your particles and then you get something that is pretty similar to a liquid behavior. Okay? Okay, just be sure that the full lesson of almost 40 minutes will be on my Patreon as usual. This is the place to get the full package. But also here on YouTube, I want to just share like a quick breakdown of it and share some knowledge with you. And by the way, I'm also working on another version of this swirl of this tornado to get like this beautiful magical orb crazy effect. So this one will be an upcoming lesson for my Patreon. But other than that, let's now dive into Cinema 4D and have some fun. All right, finally in Cinema 4D. And by the way, I will also share this project file with you. You already know the place where you will get this one. But I think we want to start from a new scene and build something quite unique here. And I just want to give you the basics idea of this milk tornado. So I would say this time I want to start from a circle and we want to emit from the circle. So how about a spline emitter? Let's just see what will happen in the scene. And I will just put my timeline to 500 or something like that and you can see this is a promising start I mean uh, it's okay so what's happening here is particles are flying in all kinds of directions here first I want to give this one more segments how about 50 and I want to for example set the direction maybe to tangential let's just see what will happen oh man and I already love what is happening here so now we get this crazy spiral wheel effect here let's just pump quite a lot more particles into the scene. Let's see how this one is looking with a thousand particles or maybe we can already go to 10,000 particles and you can already see that you get quite a lovely pattern here. I will go to a speed of 200 and wow this one this one is already getting crazy. Okay so you get like this dimension gate or something like that. I really like where this is going but this doesn't look like a milk tornado at all or even like liquids. So let's think about our next steps. I think first we need to give these particles some radius, some thickness. So how about we draw the radius but we want to make this dot invisible but just show us the radius. Now we want to go into our particles and I want to give them like a lifetime of 100 and maybe a radius of 5. Let's just see how this one is looking. Alright so now we get like a radius of 5 for our particles. I think that this one is looking quite okay. The only thing that I would like to change is that they shouldn't start from the same radius as they die. So this is totally ridiculous and boring. So how about we just want to put a data mapper into it and let's just map over an age of 150 a certain radius to our particles. How about a radius? I think we set it five or three. Let's just see how this one is looking. So now that we'll scale up from zero, go to three and then they die again. Okay, this one is already looking better. Now let's spice this up even further by adding a flock to our scene. And the flock is such an important ingredient here. You already can see that the particles are starting to glue together. You can increase this cohesion effect by putting this one, for example, to 20 and give giving it a strength of two and already you will get some really interesting effect. Okay. And you can see that this one actually feels like liquids which have a surface tension and glue together. So quite a lovely start here I would say. I just want these particles to probably grow up faster so it is getting more dense in here. But 
then now that we scale down and uh, I think that this one is quite an interesting start here. I just put the radius to 30 in which area they will start to glue together and already you will get something like a liquid spinning wheel effect. This one is quite interesting. Okay, lots of happy accidents here actually because I didn't prepare this one. How about when we add some additional turbulence? Let's put this one to 50 and 3. Okay, and there you go. You already get something like a liquid spinning wheel effect here. I think that this one is quite interesting and to be honest we don't have to make this tutorial way longer because you already get a quite interesting understanding here about how to create a liquid effect. Now I would say that you could just for example put this one into a builder and a measure and right now this is looking horrible but you just have to probably boost up the particles here. Let's put this one to a hundred thousand. Let's just make this one more dense okay and wait for it a second what will happen here you get this beautiful tenderness here and already this one is looking quite amazing let's put this one into a builder and a measure now it's looking horrible again but of course you just have to dial in better numbers here so how about 5 and 10 how about a smooth effect on top of it and how about another smooth effect on top of it now this is getting too crazy but let's reduce the voxel size to get in more resolution and yeah I mean I spent only five minutes it's here and of course you can do a better job but just be sure that a lot more knowledge will be applied in this scene file and it will be just set up in a more clever way but other than that I hope that you can take away something from this short Cinema 4D lesson about how to create a fake liquid effect in Cinema 4D with the new particle engine. Thank you so much for your time have an amazing day bye everyone.